What's up everyone, Boba back here at the review table. And today we're gonna be talking once more again about the Logitech G733 wireless gaming headset. We're gonna be doing a quick comparison on this video of the Blue Voice on compared to the Blue Voice off. Because I've had a lot of questions on my last video about that. But first, we gotta roll that intro. What's up everyone, Boba back here at the review table. So I just wanna say thank you guys for supporting that last video on the Logitech G733 wireless gaming headset. Um, I've had a lot of love and support on that video. It's got a lot of views and it's just been a great experience all around. Um, but I wanted to address a couple things with that video real quick. So first things first, I wanna say that I do like this headset. Uh, this is this headset is actually used by my wife and she really, really enjoys it. And even though the microphone is not the greatest quality, it sounds solid over things like Discord or in-game chat. So I just wanted to point that out. I don't hate this headset at all. And I'm hoping that you guys don't think like the last video makes me think that this headset is an absolute bomb. Cause it's not, it's, it's in my opinion, one of the best headsets that Logitech makes. Um, so I just wanted to get that out of the way real quick. Uh, again, this thing is a very comfortable headset and the sound on it is actually really good. The next thing I wanted to address is I brought up in that video, I kept saying things like it's a blue certified mic and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I, I, I apologize for that. So I was under the impression it was like a marketing thing saying like the microphone was um, blue certified or whatever. And really what it is, is the microphone has something called blue voice technology which if you go into the Logitech uh, G software or G Pro software, whatever it is, and you activate it, it's supposed to EQ your microphone to make it sound better. Um, and I've had a, I had a quite a few people comment on my last video asking me if I had it activated or if I had tried it. And the answer is no, I did not have it activated. Um, so I figured I would make this video comparing to, uh, comparing it with it on and with it off. Now, I will say that I do still stand by the fact that I don't think this microphone is that great. And I have a feeling that even activating the, the EQ or the blue voice on there isn't really going to change much. Uh, because there's not a lot you can do with a very small microphone like this. And Logitech, really, a lot of their headphones haven't had great microphones. You know, I've used quite a few of them. And I, my next video I'm going to make here in the next couple days that I'm currently working on is another Logitech headset. And I will show you guys there again, it's the, the microphones are not phenomenal, you know, not great on these, these headphones, but it's not knocking the headphone. You know, you can't expect a gamer style headset to have phenomenal, great sounding, you know, external microphone quality, because that's not the point of these. You know, the point of these are to have good sound, be comfortable, have long battery life, have the little bit of RGB to appeal to the gamer crowd, and then have a, a a microphone that's good enough to get the point across so that's i just wanted to get that out of the way so in this video we're going to be comparing um kind of lights like right in my face we're going to be comparing the logitech g733 with the blue voice on compared to with the blue voice off and uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this video in this comparison and i will give you guys some closing thoughts when i'm done with that so we are gonna head over to the testing table and we will do the test over there. I'll see you guys over there. All right, everyone, Boba here. This is the Logitech G733 microphone test without the blue voice on. I repeat, this is without the blue voice on. So again, this is the Logitech G7, G733. It should sound just like it did when I did my original review on it. Um, and here in just a couple seconds, we're going to go ahead and head over to the G Hub software and we're going to go ahead and enable Blue Voice. Now, one thing I'd like to point out is the Blue Voice software in the G Hub is actually pretty cool. It allows you to do some, it allows you to do some EQing um, to probably to, to get this microphone to sound more to how you would want it to sound probably. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to go in and just activate it and set it to broadcaster. Uh, I think it's Broadcaster 1, and we will go ahead and do the check there. So I'll see you guys in a second with the Blue Voice on. All right, everybody, Boba back here. Right now we have the Blue Voice on the uh, Logitech G733. Again, this is the with the Blue Voice activated. 
Um, I, like I said, last video, I got a lot of comments in my comment section asking me to test it with the Blue Voice activated because uh, apparently it EQs it to make it sound better. And I was a little confused on the marketing aspect of it. Again, this is with the Blue Voice on. I have it set to broadcaster mode one. And uh, yeah, so testing, hopefully you guys can hear this and it sounds a lot better. Um, but yeah, this is with the Blue Voice on. All right, guys, real quick, I'm gonna show you guys this software real fast and kind of how it works. So let me go ahead and move my um, move my OBS over one screen. There we go. And so this is the Logitech G Hub software where you can activate the Blue Voice. Let me move my camera over here. Um, yeah, so this is where you can kind of mess with the settings. You can mess with the EQs and whatnot. So you can adjust, uh, you know, where you want your lows, your mids, and your highs. Um, they have some presets here. Uh, so you can kind of change things around. Um, I did go back and listen to with the blue voice on, and I have to be honest, I just, I, it doesn't really sound that much better to me. It still sounds very kind of just bland and eh. Um, I'm trying to see, I mean, we could try some different ones here. We could try like broadcaster two, maybe broadcaster two sounds a little bit better. So I just set it to broadcaster two. We could try FM station. Um, I think the, the, really the take all in this is, you know, trying to expect a small microphone like this to produce a quality of, let's say like a microphone like this. I mean, it, it's not, I mean, you're, you're, you're expecting way too much, right? Um, this, it's just not, they're not going to compare. Okay. Um, you know, like this is my other microphone is an independently powered microphone that has to use, uh, a, even more equipment to even power it and process it and whatnot. Whereas this microphone is trying to do a lot of work and a lot of things between software and hardware um, and also being attached to a wireless headset. Again, I just want to say that I don't hate this headset. I think I still think the Logitech G733 is a great headset. I, I do. I really think it's a good buy for anyone that for anyone that is on the market for a well-priced, uh, very comfortable, good sounding audio wise uh, headset that even has little touches like RGB. And again, it's very comfortable, you know, I mean, in the end, like comfort and sound is very important in gaming. Um, you know, if you, if you're not worried about streaming or anything, I mean, it's, it's not that it's not the end of the world. Right. Um, but yeah, so this is the software here and, uh, yeah. So I will see you guys back over at the review table and I'll give you guys even some more final thoughts, but I just figured I'd show you guys kind of what the Blue Voice uh, software looks like. Again, you can turn it on and off here. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that comparison. Um, you know, it, like I figured, I figured that the Blue uh, Blue Voice wasn't really going to change much. I kind of explained it in the at the test area at my desk. I kind of explained why. Um, you can't expect too much from a microphone like this. Um, but again, I've, you know, I've been kind of into audio for a long time. I'm, I'm, you know, it's kind of like microphones and audio is kind of like something that I'm really interested in. I wouldn't say I'm like at the level of, you know, like a, a audio enthusiast or an audiophile, but I do really enjoy good, clean audio. Uh, and it's taken me a long time to kind of figure out how to get good, clean audio and, and make things sound really good and how to EQ things properly. Um, you know, it's, it's been a slow process for me, but one thing that I know is that trying to expect, you know, a small microphone on a wireless headset to produce, you know, like podcast level audio is, is just, it's not realistic. Right. Um, but again, I just want to point out that I don't hate this headset. So please don't take it as I hate this headset. I actually think this is one of the top wireless headsets that I have tested. It's not a bad headset. The biggest critique that I have about this headset is it's not compatible with Xbox. I don't know why it's not compatible with Xbox. If somebody knows why this headset's not compatible with Xbox, please leave some comments down below. Uh, but I had to answer a lot of questions for people who kept asking me questions on my last video, is it compatible with Xbox? And all the research that I did is this headset is not compatible with Xbox, but it is compatible with PlayStation and PC. So not sure why that is. I think it has, has something to do with the Logitech G Hub maybe. Um, though I don't know then why would it be compatible with PlayStation again I don't know why exactly uh, but really I don't have a lot I don't really have anything bad to say about it it just doesn't have a great microphone and I just when I do my reviews you know I, I do a review in a way of being fully transparent to you guys and 
you know, I'm not gonna do a review of something even if I pay for it with my own money or a company sends it to me. I'm gonna be transparent and I'm gonna find something. If, if something I don't like and something is subpar, then I'm gonna say something about it. And that's just the way it is. That's that's why I started this channel was to help educate people on buying decisions, help educate people on decisions on, you know, tech that they want to be investing in or something they want to use, you know, because this is not cheap. This is like a hundred and something dollars. And that's not cheap. That's not cheap for me. That's not cheap for really anybody. So it's you know, I'm, I, I want to educate people so that when they know like, hey, I'm gonna buy this headset, my son wants to get into streaming and he, you know, he really wants a nice gaming headset. Um, you know, I want somebody to know that, hey, if if my son or I or whoever wants to get into streaming, streaming my daughter, whatever, um, I want them to know that, hey, the microphone's not gonna sound that good. So you might wanna invest another 25 or 30 bucks in and get an external microphone that actually sounds really good and doesn't break the bank, you know? So that's why I'm doing stuff like this for this channel. And again, I just love tech and that's why I started this channel. And I love, you know, interacting with my audience and I'm just, I'm having a great time. I'm loving this and I'm just, I'm really excited to be here. So yeah. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. I have another video coming up soon. I'm gonna be reviewing another Logitech wireless gaming headset and uh, we'll put it through its paces on that video as well. All right, I'll catch you guys next time. I'm Boba and I am out.